This is the installation procedure for the Sergeant in 100 Mortis Type Exit Door. To complete this procedure you will need a number 2 and number 3 Phillips head screwdriver and a pin hex wrench. Verify the hand and bevel of the door. Prepare the door according to the supplied door marker. Install the door position switch. DPS. Push the wires through the raceway. Push the DPS firmly into place by hand. For metal doors use the collar as shown. Note. Do not tap the switch with any tool. Install the strike plate using two number 12 x 1 inch combination screws. Slide the mortise lock into the door and loosely secure with two flathead screws. For wood doors, route the ET wire harness connector through the cylinder hole, up and through the wire run channel to the controller cutout. Ensure the ET spindle engages the lower hub of the mortise lock. Secure the cylinder. Retrieve the harness from the end of the rail. The harness has a limited travel and can be damaged. Attach the harness to the female connector on the chassis. Attach the rail to the chassis. Note, this is easier with the latch retracted. Secure the rail to the chassis using 2, 8, 3, 2, x 5 16 inch Phillips head truss head machine screws. Connect the 5 pin male and female connectors of the ET wire harness. Note, exit chassis harness consists of a 6 pin male connector and 2 different sized ground lugs. Feed the chassis harness through to the outside of the door. Begin to secure the exit chassis using 2, 1 quarter 20 x 2 3 8 inch flathead machine screws. Tighten fully. Verify that the key retracts the latch bolt. Secure the chassis cover to the chassis using 4. Number 8 32 inches x 5 16 inch oval head machine screws. Attach the back end bracket with 2. Round head screws. Secure the rear bar end cap with 2. Phillips head screws. Orient the reader so the LED lens is at the top. Feed the reader harness through the door, from outside to inside. Install the reader to the outside of the door by aligning the mounting posts with the door preparation holes. Hold the reader flush against the door while ensuring proper alignment. Feed the cables and connectors through the gasket. If necessary, the gasket should be used for outdoor installations. Then position the cables as shown and feed them through the bracket. Do not run the wires through the hole in the plate. This will damage the wires and the controller connector. Route the wires around the flange. Do not route the wires through the flange hole. Secure the mounting assembly while ensuring proper alignment of the outside reader and tighten the 2 through bolts on the inside of the door to secure the reader. Secure the following connectors to their respective terminals. Secure the 4-pin DPS connector. Secure the 10-pin lock body assembly connector. Secure the ground lug to a number 6 32 inches machine screw. Secure the 24-pin card reader connector. Insert the top tabs of the controller into the slots on the mounting plate. Ensure proper alignment of the board-to-board -board connectors while pivoting the bottom of the controller toward the door, until the tab on the bottom snaps securely into place on the mounting plate. Caution! To avoid possible damage to the board-to-board -board connectors, care should be taken when securing the controller to the mounting plate. If there is resistance when securing, detach the controller to determine the cost before reattaching the controller. Place. 6. AA alkaline batteries in the compartment, being careful to align polarity properly. After the batteries are installed, there is a slight delay, then an audible beep will sound and the lock motor will cycle. Assemble the cover by hooking the top edge onto the inside mounting plate. Carefully press the bottom of the cover toward the door without pinching any wires. Fully secure the cover by tightening the security screw at the bottom of the cover, utilizing the security Allen wrench. This concludes the installation procedure for the Sergeant in 100 Mortis Type Exit Door.